So Jeff, really quickly, why don't we have <laughs> you briefly explain a little bit about your business? So just talk us through how many units, you know, yeah. what does it look like? How many people are on the team? And then we'll kind of launch yeah. into why you decide to use us. So we have, um, let's say 2014, we've been running a team for about 12 years now. And we have closed as many as I think our best year was 432 sides and about 125 million in volume and we in the past years have done a few hundred deals so we're working on building things back up we have right now about 15 people on the team including operations and sales folks and have just struggled to find the right long-term executive assistant we've had several and one really really awesome one that we love that you know and um had her for a while and then when we lost her, we've just, we've had a few people in now, but I've had a hard time finding the, just the right long-term fit. So in an effort to not get somebody else that would be here for a few years and not be a long-term fit, we brought you guys on to help us figure that part out. So get the right awesome. person. Yeah. And we're still in process of, you know, doing some training and all those things. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is, we want to talk to you about the process and, you know, did it help to have somebody else, you know, doing some of the interviews? And do you feel like that, even that part, like, even if the hire were to not work out, did you feel like the leverage that you got from us yeah. was worth it? Yeah. Good question. So, um, I will say yes, hundred percent. It was worth it. Um, I, and this is, it's kind of ironic because this is one of the main reasons that I need a good executive assistant is because I'm great at coming up with ideas and I am not as strong on executing the details of uh, getting those ideas in place. And so I, I've been to Recruit Select, like, or I guess, what do they call it now? Career visioning. So yeah. if that dates me a little bit, right? <laughs> oh, no. I love um, it, me too. <laughs> I've been to Recruit Select and Career Visioning and all the different uh, facets of each of those. Like, you know, there's like, uh, recruit, select, train, lead, manage, and so it talks about how to find the right person and train them and keep them accountable and all of that. And I've been to those classes like over and over again to the point where I could probably teach them. I understand the concepts. And so what you guys are doing is kind of uh, straight out of the book. And, and that's a good thing because the systems are there and have been created, tested, and proven to work. Um, but usually when I would try and run those systems, I would give up on them halfway through because they take a lot of time. And I'd be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do exactly what the book says. I'm not going to try and reinvent the system because I'm, I'm just going to do what works. And I would do it until I got tired of doing it. You know, I would do it until I had so many interviews that I just like couldn't bear to have another one. And, um, and then I would just shortcut the process and be like, all right, good enough. Let's go. And, um, you know, we've had varying success with that. It's definitely a little more rough shot when you do it that way. Mm -hmm. So having you guys execute that play for me made me feel like, okay, yes, we are getting uh, a lot of applicants, filtering through them in a consistent and appropriate way, getting the initial interviews done. And you guys were doing all that so that I could just see the handful of candidates that were valid candidates and you just saved me so much time without shortcutting the process. So that was very valuable to me. Yeah. Yeah. And talk to me about, so, you know, I know that we did a project with you, which was actually one that we custom created with you, which was yeah. fun. Um, and, you know, you got to go through and see how we do our scenario questions and how we're looking for a problem solver and a growth minded person. Mm -hmm. So did you feel like the questions that we asked really helped you see that type of personality? And then let's talk really quickly about the project that we did with you um, and how you felt like that helped you in the process. Yeah, so I think the project was a big one. And this is something I really had wrestled with on my own in the past is like, because I would, um, I would sometimes hire folks that I thought based on interview questions that they were qualified and then come to find out once they came into the organization that maybe they didn't have the level of experience or qualification I thought they did. And so I always thought, well, how do I get like down to brass tacks and actually see it? And so your idea of doing a project, which I understand you you do with everybody, um, is, is such a great idea to see a multi-step project 
where somebody has to grasp the concept, execute on different pieces of it, and then explain to you what they did. Um, it's just such a smart idea. And I'm glad that we got to custom create a project where we could use what's really important to me. And I use a lot of it's Microsoft Excel. And so being able to find somebody that had that skill set because some people like it, some people don't, some people have experience, some people don't. So that was very, very informative how you work through that and to be able to see how people not only completed the project uh, and the level of accuracy, but the level of just understanding of the different layers of it and being able to talk about it, just uh, weeded out a lot of candidates for sure and, and helped to shine a light on the ones that really excelled. So yeah, it's awesome. How did you feel about the scenario questions too that we used? Did you feel like those were helpful? Yeah, I thought they were for sure. I mean, I do think ultimately for me, the project was the single most valuable thing that we did and the scenario questions were valuable too, for sure, yeah. So last question, um, you worked with Bridget on this hire, which mm -hmm. was fun. And so mm -hmm. talk to us about, you know, how, how long did it take you before you trusted her and her judgment on things? Um, or was it more, yeah. you know what, she was the facilitator and what yeah. did that look like? I think I trusted her judgment pretty fast and, and it was, you know, it probably took two weeks before I really like, um, you, you know, totally trusted her. So the process being like in the first week, I'm just kind of like biting my fingernails, waiting to like hear something. And I get that email on Friday saying, hey, here are your four candidates. And one of them I thought was fantastic. And the other three I, I liked, but not as much. Um, and so, so I was like, okay, I think, I think she like understands what I'm looking for. And, but then by the second week when she had more candidates and I could see it, she was consistently getting candidates that were somewhere between good and great. You know what I mean? Uh, without me having to go through the process of sorting through all of that to find those people um, was super valuable. So, so she gained my trust pretty quickly after I saw the results two weeks in a row and saw the well, consistent results, then I knew she had it handled, you know? Awesome. Yeah. All right, anything else I should have asked you that you felt like was, hey, this was awesome and this really helped me? Um, I think just, I think you've addressed it. I mean, the process was just very streamlined. It wasn't like, I didn't have to think about much of anything. I just, it saved me so much time because I just got videos and resumes of the people that got through the first few steps. And then we set up a uh, follow-up. So it just was very, very efficient. I can tell you guys have done it a million times. So it was good. Yep. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. We appreciate the feedback and appreciate you doing this video. So sure.